Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to share this concept with you regarding government treasuries. This is an important concept when you are in business and this is an indicator of w how the economy is, is going regarding the state of each country. And the US being the most important country in, in the world regarding the way everyone is always looking regarding the economy, you might hear this expression 10 year treasuries back and forth when you like on CNBC or Bloomberg or something and it's important for you to understand the concept because it will be beneficial to you when you are doing your investments. The basic idea here is let's say you have two friends, you have John and you have Mary. John is the classic deadbeat that is always coming up with excuses and always short on cash. If he were to ask you for some money, you already know there's a good chance of him not paying you back. So you would have a higher interest rate because it's related to the risk of him defaulting on the money, so not paying you back. And if you have like, the, the, the next case would be Mary, and Mary is like a super uh, responsible person and is always coming, uh, coming up uh, decent and responsible and, and giving your money back. So there's a lower risk of you uh, loaning her money. So you already know you're going to get your money back. So this is, this is what happens with countries. A corporate treasury basic, basically is you loan uh, money to the government and the government is going to pay you some interest regarding the money that you are loaning to the government. It's, it's a bond, basically. It's, a, it's an IOU from the government. And there are countries in the world that are riskier than, than others. Coming, coming back to this, this chart that we see here, you can see like uh, Brazil, it's, there's a super high risk here. It's almost 10%. So Brazil is being looked from the rest of the world from a perspective of this is a really risky country to loan uh, money to. So there's a really high chance of Brazil defaulting if you were to buy uh, a, US, um, a Brazil treasury. So there's a higher yield here, so it's a higher risk. And same same thing for, for some other countries here that you see that like Greece, for instance, that was in the news for, for a while because they defaulted on the money that was loaned to them in order to keep the, the, the country at float. So there's a higher risk for you to loan money to these types of countries because there's a higher chance of default. And on the lower end, end, end of the spectrum, you have a, a country like Germany. Germany is like a super responsible country. They always pay their thing on time. So the, the risk is lower. So this is Mary, see, and this is John. And why am I telling you this? Well, historically, of, of course, these yields kind of fluctuate a little bit, but historically, the, um, the nominal interest rate regarding a 10-year treasury from the US is about 5%. So it's a, it's a th in theory, it's where the um, where the bond yield should be it is not always the case and you, and you can see here it's uh, coming up as a lower historicals it's in the 2.2s and what this means is if you were to to buy a corporate treasury bond from from the US government what that means is they will be paying you an annual coupon of 2.2620 so for each 1000 bucks you get 2.262% of that annually. And usually a bond is paying, it's paid semi-annually. So you need to divide this by two and every six months you would get, you would get um, this, this rate divided by two. And at the end of the, the 10 years, so the bond reaches ma maturity, it's the term, so you get your money back. So basically the idea here is you, you would loan money to the US government the government would pay you 2.2620 uh, interest rate a year divided by two because it's on each six months. And at the end of 10 years, you would get your money back. So you basically got some interest back. Now, what's important for us to, to understand, and this is the reason that I made this video, is when you are evaluating an investment, there's uh, uh, two indicators that you have to be aware of because there's this concept regarding inflation. Inflation basically erodes the value of your money. So if you keep 1,000 bucks in, in, your, in your pocket, let's say for 10 years, 
after 10 years, the, the thousand bucks no longer have the same value as today because uh, inflation has this effect of eroding uh, the, the value of the thousand bucks that you have in your pocket. Plus, it's disgusting that you have <laughs> paper in your pocket for 10 years, but that's, that's <laughs> coming off track here. So the, the general idea here is US is basically, it, you look at this as kind of the rate um, that it's supposed to be above the inflation rate, but it's not because historically the inflation rate is about 3% a year. So that means this, if you are not making at least 3% on that 1,000 bucks that you have in your pocket, the the inflation is eroding the it is eroding your um, the value of your thousand bucks. So this is important for business this concept because when you are evaluating a business opportunity and the earnings that you are getting from your business, it's important for you to see that if you are getting lower than five percent return on your money every year, that means you are losing money because inflation will get uh, will caught up with your um, the returns will get caught up with the inflation inflation perspective and it will erode the 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 earnings that you are getting from your business. So always keep in mind that when you are evaluating a business opportunity, always look at it as Am I getting a higher return than the inflation? And if so, can I get at least at least five percent a year? Because you know, if you can net at least five percent a year, you are above um, you are above the inflation inflation effect, and your money at least will be safe. And your one thousand bucks, as an example, at least you are getting a higher return than the inflation one. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, drop me some some notes if you some some questions if you ask them. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.